Sup guys, it's Tenkosh and today we are going for another Sifi guide and this time we are going for the mod calculator. Which mods to get for, for the most efficiency. The mod tree is huge and it's so easy to go wrong here. Moreover, there is no reset. So all the points you spend are spent there forever. So you want to know which are the best options. For you. And in order to do that, we will use the mod tree optimizer by Creation King Gaiden from the official sci-fi discord community. And we have it available over here already and I'll give you the link for it in the video description as well. So what you need to do, first things first, you want to make the copy of the file that will allow you to get it on your drive so you can actually edit it. Uh, same as before, we will change the name so it will be not that generic. All right, and it will be uh, Kosh Idol. Oh, that's Russian, wrong language. Kosh Idol, there we go. And uh, after you make a copy, you can start putting in the values. Once again, in this calculator, you will need to put a lot of info before you can use it properly. You will need about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes of your time to do that. So uh, there are not many things you have to fill in. You go to mod values sheet, over here and you gotta fill in the player progress and ship progress over here. Uh, some of those things might be vague, you know, some of those ideas. So I will guide you through this so you will know <coughs> what's what. A level, pretty straightforward, your level 16, let's go. Before we start, uh, you want to have those filled in on your best score, it's right here in the notes, the information. So after your long run, like the overnight, for example, a loop, uh, when you get the maximum amount of uh, upgrades and everything. So, yeah, let's go. All right, then we need the loop field. Pretty easy to get here uh, in the loop menu. 43 for us right now. Too many. Uh, operations done. You can check it in the statistics down here in the player menu as well. So, over here and down here. Shard mining operation completed this loop. Zero, because we are not there yet. This is for the end game, guys. So, we leave it at zero. Manual, MK, generators. That's pretty easy and straightforward, obviously. We pick the generators here and put in this manual purchase value. Let's put it all on for all our generators. All right, then we go to the software tag. This is uh, tech upgrades here. And you gotta sum up the uh, software upgrade level from all your, uh, how are those things called? From all your marks upgrades, basically. So since most likely you have the phone open and this one is on the PC, uh, you can use the formula here. So 36 plus, uh, how many over here? 30. It's way faster when you have your phone open. So 19, there we go. And another one which is 11 11 guys there we go so we got 96 software tech lp doubler bar field so this is from the menu over here uh from the player menu and this is lp upgrades uh lp spent for double two times effect so you gotta fill in six out of ten here we got six out of ten that affects something in the calculation so keep it in mind mods uh, achieved current and next. That's for... Oh, look at that. We got the free level up. That's nice. That's for uh, this thing. Own loop mods levels. So we have 89, 89 out of 100. So we gotta fill this one. 89 out of 100. That thing will change because the more you progress here, the higher it will be. So you will have the more things. And shard tick speed is actually... The duration of ticks of your shard, not your normal ticks over here, but for the shards, for the Demeter ship. Uh, where is it? Uh, this one, Demeter. I don't have it unlocked, I'm too poor for that, so we don't know that yet. So, okay, we're done with the player progress. Now we go for the ship progress. This one is way more simple. You go to your first ship, our cradle, cradle rank, it's over here, 18. <coughs> and cradle crew, 37. Then AUX, let's go next rank 13 come on 13 uh, and crew is 29 then zagros bam uh rank 5 crew 12 oh my god 
there we go now we have this one this is not for the early game again so this one goes for specific talent in zagreus this is called deja vu theory and we gotta use this one actually uh unless you have it unlocked you don't need to do anything about that but um after that you gotta adjust those values so let's see how much do we get for it i never got it before this is the first time i'm getting it so here we get the multiplier which is 118 for us and the level of upgrade is one and calculated uh, LR done. 15. I think that's the right number for us. Exactly. We got 15 looper sets done. And after that, you gotta fill the all of those things. It's pretty easy. So, yeah, just do that for all the ships that you have. There we go. If you don't have extra ships like I do, leave it at zero. So, at this point, we filled out uh, the main information here. And uh, how do we use it ourselves? Uh, moreover, there are weights here right those things you can adjust them as you want but this is the recommended set that's useful for the most players and since i'm a noob myself and you guys probably are as well you can leave it as this but later on if you need to adjust it yourself you can do it and it will adjust the calculations as well so when we're done with this we go to the main mods uh, tab and over here uh there is a cost importance thing and it affects like how uh expensive or cheap mod you want to get uh, at 50 it's balanced, so you should leave it like that. I, I will leave it like that. And here in MP this LR, it means you have to type how many uh, mod points do you have here and it will start calculating stuff for you. So let's see how much do we get after the reset. We will get 103, so that's uh, 103, uh, a little bit more, there, up, 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 like this. So we got uh, 103k, which is like 1030 mod points. And it will calculate stuff for us. Moreover, if you already invested something in the loop tree, you would like to put those levels over here. Now, let's talk a little bit more about those levels right here and all that stuff. Um, there are names here, right? And there is a code. The code is where it is on your loop tree and it's right here so you can get this picture you can put it uh save it on your computer and put it on the second screen or something like that uh to for in order to easier understand what's what it's divided into different sectors and you can find all those numbers and names over here so it's for easier understanding for you we will talk about how to use it later so for now uh since i got some upgrades already i will have to put some stuff over here because right now it advises us to buy the first thing that's well that's available for everyone and uh, we will see what do we need to do. All right, I'm done with it. It took me a while to fill those in. It's complex. Uh, you can check if you did everything right by selecting all the table over here. So you click on the top one, you press shift, click on the bottom one and here you'll get the sum 89 and compare it with your loop mods purchased 89. So you're good, you filled up everything. Moreover, as you feel it, the arrow on the left, where is it? It's not here anymore. Uh, it will show you, there it is. It will show which of the mods it's advisable for you to put chase so you can see if you did it right. And for me, basically while I was filling this in, it feels like I did the right option. So now, what do you do? When you filled all that stuff in, you would like to refresh it from time to time, but basically that's all you need right now. Uh, you go back to the top, now everything's filled in. Finally, you can go to the uh, using this one to get more... Uh, no, don't loop yet. To get more information about the mods. So now you can have several options. First of all, you can use uh, this one at the top uh, area by MK1 enchantment G10. If you don't know, know which one is G10, you use that spreadsheet again, like the, the table on the right. I have it on my second monitor. G10 is this one. Bam. And uh, when you purchase it, let's actually do the reset so we can reassign uh, our points so we can see how it works. All right. Because we are done with this loop anyway. So, yeah. Oh, one more thing. Before looping. If you have auto turned off, for example, you would like to go upgrades, get all the tech upgrades you can, maximize those. But first of all, maximize automation hub. Get everything that you can, if it takes you a bit longer, because first of all, it enables your auto to be more efficient. Second, there are a lot of bonuses scaled from this. So more of those you have unlocked, the better. And after that, buy all the generators that you can manually, because those will uh, fill up your player level, whatever thing you see here, purchase, 
manual GN levels, tech upgrades, that kind of stuff. So that will boost your progression. So right now, let's perform a loop. There we go. Done. And uh, one, two, three, go. And the present I haven't got here yet. Now it's here. <laughs> Spend modification points. And now we have all our points. It's uh, more than we thought. 118. All right. And uh, that's all you have to change here, like this one. It, it shows you current MP. So, and now you can do this and uh, let's buy this one. Let's say we bought it, we press buy now. Bam. And it counts as a bought one, right? Or not, let's see. Yeah, level 18, so it counts as a bought one already. That's one of the options. Moreover, uh, if you don't press buy now, if you wanna see what do you need to do, um let's clear the list all right yes and what you need to do you gotta press buy five and it will calculate you all the shopping things you need here without actual or it will put them in i don't know let's see but it will actually show us everything that we need here it takes time to calculate uh at some point it might get tired and stop calculating so you press it again so you press it while you have the resources basically and when you have none left it will stop doing anything like there we go i think uh, what's happening it's recalculating things right now and now we will have 43 of those left and we have to buy those upgrades here for the most efficiency so uh let's see what do we have to get yeah you have to get those things and very important thing guys uh once you press this buy five button and you'll get the list that list will already update your uh, levels over here in the fast loop, uh, in, the, in, in the list of your mods. So if you are not sure that that's what you want, before doing that, you want to copy paste all this uh, table of content, like uh, all this thing, copy it and create a new, uh, spread, uh, new, new page, new tab, whatever, and paste it over there. So next time, if you are unhappy with the results, you're like, no, I don't like it. You remove this, you change things around here, for example, make it lower, whatever you want to do. And paste it back so you will get the levels back where you need to. Like, make it a milestone or something, you know. That's important. Otherwise, like, right now I will buy what I need here because I'm curious what's advised. But other than that, it's, it's really dangerous for you to do that. Otherwise, you'll have to retype everything again and it takes time. So, right, let's uh, follow the shopping list, though, because we want to do that. We go to MK2 Gen Enchantment Modification Model and we need to buy two of those. So, one, two, there we go. Now it's level 13 as it's supposed to be. This is starting level, this is finishing level. Then there is MK3 Enchantment, which is the next one. Bam, one. We done it, one amount. Uh, MK1 Venture. Venture, venture, venture. What's venture? I'm not sure what it is. So we will have to, to go to B1V and see where it is. It's right here. Oh, it's really comfortable to use it like that. Huh, that's nice. So B1V is this thing over here. MK1 Venture Module. Let's get it. Bam. Another one is MK1 Enchantment G10. Where is it? over here mk1 gen enchantment from 18 to 19 everything is correct and go for cell multipl multiplication on the d i haven't got here yet but let's see what i do uh, provides a five percent in increase to sell game that's it huh. all right let's get it if the game says it's a good upgrade let's do it and then you get time dilation mk1 this one and get three of those one two three bam max nice and now we have 300 mod points left. Oh, curious. Maybe we miscalculated something. Anyway, let's put those 310 mod points over here. And see if uh, we will have something else to add to the list. Fast loop MK2. All right, let's go. Uh, fast loop MK2. Where is it? This one. So let's buy it. And we press buy now. So it will be purchased. And we are done. And it added itself to the list, by the way. So yeah, after that you can clear the list because you've done everything and for the next upgrade uh, you are ready to go. And yeah guys, if your build is broken and you did something wrong, that thing will allow you to optimize it. So for example, if you haven't been doing, I don't know, MK1 gen enchantment, 
it will give you full list of gen enchantments over here for your next uh, loop and you will uh, fix your build basically so yeah that's how you use this thing and uh, my personal advice for you guys is follow the guide but think for yourself sometimes for uh, some play styles you want to adjust it because it's optimized progression here but for example something like looper modules over here the level one one is really good it gives you 15 percent mod points while the second tier it's expensive though so we don't have the cheap stuff here right but yeah if it wouldn't be in the list for example i would like to buy it and maybe i want to uh, get faster ticks so then i will invest a little bit into the uh, enchantment models or for example i feel like i want to get more mod points altogether both so I get more of those cheaper ones, you know. So uh, you balance it out yourself based on how you feel. Uh, but this can be your guidelines. This can be something that you can start with and evaluate your build and that kind of stuff. And I think it's pretty useful. Let me know what do you think about this tool and overall mod point distribution down below in the comments. Do you think uh, we are doing the right thing here or we did a mistake somewhere? While you go in there, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel that will promote it in YouTube algorithm. And check the video description for more uh, sci-fi uh, videos in the playlist over there. And there is a Discord link in the link tree. Uh, Discord, other YouTube channels, my social media, so I'll be glad to see you somewhere there. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stan Kosh out. Bye.